Orlando International Airport. Today I will be taking you on a voyage as I travel from Orlando, Florida to London, England with one stopover in Atlanta. I'm gonna show you the whole process and also just have a fun travel day because who doesn't like a travel day, right? Let's eat some cheese and have a chat. I'm here at MCO, Orlando International Airport right now, and I'm at the club. I normally go to airport lounges whenever possible. If I can pay for a day pass, usually 30 or $40, I will pay for it. If it's included in one of my cards, even better. But things are very different right now than they normally are. Usually you can go up and grab your own food. It's a buffet type of thing, and there's hot food and cold food right now. There's no hot food besides soup. Uh, very, very limited food, but I did not know that until I had already paid for the pass, so be it. But it is very empty, so I have a lot of space to myself, which is really nice. I have chargers. I have three hours until my flight, so snacks and soup it is. Oh, and coffee. I always take the opportunity to charge devices in the lounge. Before we move forward, I should probably preface all of this by saying that one, I am fully vaccinated. I had my second vaccine three weeks before I even traveled. Two, I had two COVID tests before traveling within three days of traveling, one rapid result and one P PCR, the, the awful one, you know, if you've taken them, you know. And then I will be taking two more once I arrive in England. One on day two and one on day eight of a 10 day quarantine. That's right, even fully vaccinated, you are required to do a 10 day quarantine. I have a place to stay for the quarantine, grocery delivery. I ordered the two tests already. You have to, it's part of the requirements of traveling to the United Kingdom right now so that they'll arrive in time and then you post them back. It's all a very organized system, but there's a lot and it's easy to miss some of the requirements if you don't read everything carefully when you book your flight. Some of these rules may change. Things are changing very rapidly in the world. So even by the time this video comes out, there may be different requirements and guidelines, but I am going by the requirements and guidelines in place at the time of my travel in May 2021. A lot of different seating in here. Some is blocked off right now. Normally all of it's open. There's different kinds of seating. It's really nice to do the lounge normally, and you're not just paying for the food and drinks. You're also paying for somewhere quiet, clean, and chill to relax while you wait for your flight. See, normally this is all self-serve too. My flight will be boarding in about half an hour, so I'm gonna head out of the lounge. Thank you, good day. fly into Orlando and you see those welcome to Orlando signs. How many of you know that feeling? Some stores and restaurants are open, more so than last time I traveled, which is good. Let's see, we're going to 70. This area is a hub between several different terminals, so I'm gonna make my way to mine now. I do see many places that were closed during my last travels reopened. I'm on Delta. All right, I found my area. That is, I believe, my plane. Right here at 75, gate 75. We're departing pretty soon. Okay, I found a little corner that I can just talk in for a moment while I'm waiting for my flight. So, the first leg of this trip is a short hour and a half flight to Atlanta, Georgia, with I think I have like a two and a half hour layover. And then I have a very long flight to England, so it's a very long travel day. I'll be in England tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. UK time, so there is a five hour time difference. It was cold, but now, now I'm warm. Always bring a sweater because you know how that goes. Okay, 
as you can see, a lot of people are traveling. I was actually really surprised by how many people I've seen all over the airport. I always listen when they make an announcement just in case. By the way, the love bugs are back. These come out every summer here in Florida. They're harmless, but they're kind of gross. They're back though. I love looking at airports. They're really cool. Okay, back to my story. Now, why am I traveling to England right now in May of 2021? If you've been following my channel for a while, if you've been part of this with me, you may know my boyfriend, Sam. He lives in England, however, he's normally in Florida for nearly half the year. He did live in Canada for a while too. Get on your LaGuardia flight, people! Anywho. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he was in Florida so much that it wasn't even a thing and I could travel there. However, with all the lockdowns starting in April of 2020, he had to return home to England and he has not been back to the United States since then. I have been out to visit once eight months ago in August, September of 2020. It's been eight months since we've seen each other. An opportunity arose for me to travel to England right now on a very affordable flight. Things are looking a lot better, so we took this opportunity for me to travel over there to visit him. Also, the theme parks are reopening, have already reopened. Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, so many others. So Sam has planned an incredible itinerary for us of amazing places to see in England that I'll be bringing you along for in a series of travel vlogs. So make sure you stay tuned for all of those that'll be coming out after this. These videos are also coming out out of time. So everything is gonna be delayed during this. And this is the reason. Because I have to do a 10 day quarantine in England, I filmed extra videos before I left to make sure that I had at least a few to cover that quarantine. But they'll still be delayed. Everything will be coming out like a few days to a week or more after it actually happened. So just to give you some perspective on that. Orlando International Airport is really pretty. It's really full of light. There are windows everywhere. You take a monorail over to the terminals. It's also got a cool carpet. And sanitizers everywhere. Oh, whoa, hello. That was, that was watery. Look at all the love bugs. Look at them all. This definitely means it is it's summer. It's summer in Florida. I'll also add that of course Sam will be quarantining with me for the 10 days. We've already pre-ordered groceries. They just leave it at the door so that we can have anything delivered. But um, yeah, I think it's almost time to board. So I have first class for this first hour and a half only of the trip because it was insanely cheap. I've never flown first class. It's only a tiny part of the trip. But let me show you the first class experience. first leg of the trip, I'll be traveling from Orlando, Florida to Atlanta, Georgia for a connecting flight. This is a pretty short trip. It's an hour and some change. There was a lot of turbulence on this flight. It was pretty much a solid hour of just nonstop shaking and turbulence, but it didn't bother me. It felt like a ride. It felt fine. And the extra comfortable seat helped a lot. There were some beautiful views and I just enjoyed the flight and getting ready for the next one, which is the long haul international flight. Gonna make my way through Atlanta over to International Departures now.
This being a much bigger plane and a much longer flight, this Comfort Plus is actually much nicer than first class on the shorter flight. They give us pillows and blankets. It's, it's really, really nice. It wasn't that much more to pay for Comfort Plus, and to me it's worth it, especially for a flight that's over eight hours, if you can swing it. I got a converter here that works with UK plugs, so already starting on this flight, I guess I need to use it. Yeah. Thing I just learned is this airplane fits over 300 passengers and there's only 70 passengers on this flight today but there's been like some flights recently with 20 or 30 people not a lot of people are flying internationally right now understandably because of the 10-day quarantine and if they're flying to the UK and then moving on to another country they have to stop in the UK for 10 days unless they have some exception which are very very rare anybody flying to the UK right now has a specific reason to be flying there like me like they have someone there they're going to see family loved ones or work or some some specific reason they just handed out travel kits and this includes um, a cloth like a cleaning cloth um, an eye mask for sleeping and earbud like earplugs not earbuds earplugs and then also there are plug-in earbuds to use for their internal speaker system. I also have brand new AirPods that I just got that I'll... Actually, I need to pull them out of my bag so I can use them for my phone. I'm doing this one-handed. Oh, oh, oh. I actually have two windows all to myself. This one and this one. And I lucked out and no one's sitting next to me or in the entire row in the middle. This is, this is the dream.
UK coffee. And I've made it to England, here I am. Today's actually day eight of my 10 day quarantine. So let me rewind a little bit and tell you about what has transpired over the past nine days really, because they count your travel day, the day you arrive as day zero, even though that was my first day and first night sleeping here and you know. So it's really day nine for me here in England. There's a five hour time difference from Florida where I'm from, so it's five hours later here. I did have to adjust to that time change. It took me a few days plus the plane ride which was like nine hours and I slept on part of it but like very uncomfortably sleeping on a plane is you know very uncomfortable so I got here and I was already like oh and it was six in the morning but in my mind it was 1 a.m. so you know that takes some getting used to. There's the jet lag and the time change and all of that. So the 10 day quarantine actually is kind of a nice time to like adjust and relax. Sam, my boyfriend, picked me up from the airport. We came straight to this cottage where we're staying for the 10 days. It's so, so lovely. We have a full kitchen, a nice comfy living room, washer, dryer, all of that. Here he is. <laughs> I have to get used to fitting us both in frame again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a longer arm. Well, here he is. Here's Sam, if you haven't met him. Hello. My name is Sam. We had grocery delivery, like an, a grocery delivery order already set up. The first night we ordered Nando's because even though we had all the groceries, we had been planning to order Nando's because I had been craving it since my last trip to England over eight months ago. I love Nando's. It's like a chicken place here, but it's like so good. And they have these things called halloumi fries and it's like this fried cheese and it's it's so good. The closest thing I've had was in Miami. There's like a Nicaraguan thing that's kind of like a fried cheese similar type of thing. So if you've had that, it's just so, so good. And there's this dipping sauce and it's just, ah, uh, it's so good. So I had the whole deal, coleslaw, like garlic bread, chicken. It's just, oh, it's delicious. First night in, ordered some Nando's. I've been really excited to have Nando's, especially halloumi fries. I feel like every time I say halloumi fries, I say halloumi fries. <laughs> Oh yeah. And then the next morning, Sam made us a delicious English breakfast. It was so good. He had been planning it. It was just mm, so cozy and so nice. All right, Sam, what are you cooking up for us? We're going for a classic English breakfast for your first day here. I'm so excited. So we've got sausages. They're not all for now. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have some of them for lunch later. Yeah. Mushrooms. Tomatoes. My favorite part. And fried eggs. Mm. Uh, cook the best thing with fried eggs. Mm -hmm. Cook them in the same oil you use for the bacon. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is actually the second day, but like the first full day. Yeah. The first yeah. morning. Yeah. The first morning. Oh, and also can't forget the baked beans. Look at this breakfast made with love. Welcome to England breakfast was so good. We've been mostly cooking dinner. It's nice to have that full kitchen. Burgers tonight then, love? Of course. Every day, burger day is the best day. <laughs> but we have ordered a few times. We ordered Wagamama, which I love Wagamama, and you can't get it in Florida. I think they do have some US locations, but uh, not in Florida. So good. I had ramen. It was delicious. And we've been watching movies. I had posted like months ago that I was going to watch all 22 MCU films. I guess there's actually 23 if you count The Incredible Hulk, which has a different actor and sort of a different story. And I have seen it, but like a long time ago. But I watched all 22 films. Not all of them are on Disney+. Plus. We had to get Spider-Man, the homecoming, far from home, separately. Uh, but yeah. All 22 MCU films in order for the past few months. I think I had like six or seven left when I got here. We watched those last six or seven together in a row for the purpose of watching WandaVision. I saw adverts for it and I knew I would love it. And I had seen several of the Marvel films before, but like out of order and a long time ago, I didn't really remember the whole story, all the characters, all the arcs. I wanted to watch all 22 films in order like near each other so that I could have that whole picture in my mind when we started WandaVision and we did. 
and it was amazing. I loved WandaVision. Those first few episodes, I feel like, were just brilliant television. The whole show was wonderful. I loved it. But, like, especially those first few episodes. And then we watched part of the making of, we're still watching it, of WandaVision. It's on Disney+, Plus. So there's like a making of. It gave me an even more profound respect for everyone involved with that show, the authenticity that they strove for. I don't know, if you haven't watched WandaVision, just watch it, but if you can, I would say it's worth taking the time to try to watch all 22 films. Like, it's a lot, but I did it over months. Or at least watch the films that you haven't watched to like fill in the gaps, or I don't know, read some summaries or something, because it just, it's a lot more meaningful when you when you've seen all the films. But WandaVision is brilliant storytelling, wonderful television. I love, love, loved it. I'm definitely gonna watch it again. And now we're starting Falcon and Winter Soldier. So I am like super Marvel Cinematic Universe caught up and it feels really good. Like it's just, like I said, I had obviously seen a lot of the films before. I had even seen some of them in the theater, but like not all of them. There were some I hadn't seen at all. And there were some I hadn't seen for so long that I didn't really remember all the details and I hadn't really seen them in order. So like just, yeah. Anywho, we've had good food. We've been watching movies. We've like had a little fireplace. It's just been so cozy. Now back to the requirements here in the United Kingdom. Right now in May of 2021, US citizens can travel to the United Kingdom, but under a lot of restrictions. So those restrictions are a 10 day quarantine, a test within three days of your travel. Back in the US, you take a COVID test and then you take one on day two of your 10 day quarantine and one on day eight of your 10 day quarantine. And then I'll take another probably two more, but I only need one more, but I'll probably do two, just maybe even more, uh, before heading back to the United States that the US requires. Besides that, there are a lot of forms, your passenger locator form, passenger declaration form. There's a lot of forms and they'll all be there if you book your flight, your, your airline, like when I logged in, I did this all through Delta, by the way, Delta is my favorite airline now. And when I log in, it says, here's all the travel requirements and then a link to the UK, you know, websites too, that just to confirm everything for yourself because it's your responsibility, not the airlines, but they've been wonderful providing me guidance, links to all the forms. So yeah, I've done everything to the T, crossed the T's, dotted the I's. Oh, I did want to say one more thing. So if you haven't like put two and two together, the last few videos that I released, I released them while I was already here. So those, I, I filmed them before I left Florida for the trip. So what I did was, in the like weeks leading up to this trip, I was, I was working hard. I was out there making extra videos because I knew I would have this 10 day quarantine where I wouldn't really be able to make any videos. And by the time this video comes out, it will have already been a few days past the 10 days and I'll already be out in England doing adventures. So I think that's all of that explained. I'm sure there's gonna be more questions and more that I think of after filming this. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'm happy to answer them. I love to chat with everyone. I appreciate you all so much. I'm wearing my Ravenclaw sweater, so that should give you a clue as to at least one of the videos that's coming up, something that's been highly requested, something I've never done that I'm so, so excited to do and see. And uh, we've also watched all the Harry Potter films. We're actually, we're deep in, we have a few more to go, but by the time quarantine ends and this video comes out, we'll have rewatched all of them. We've both seen them obviously a million times and yeah, we're gonna rewatch them all. Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Sam is now eating a scotch egg. Are they called scotch eggs? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, I really love them. So that means there's one waiting for me. So I'm gonna go eat my scotch egg, edit this video again by the time this comes out. Quarantine will have been long over, I'll already be out there and those travel videos will be coming really soon. By the way, Sam planned this whole trip, sorted everything, booked everything. Thank you, Sam. My pleasure. <laughs> He's eating a scotch egg. Um, but yeah, you're gonna be seeing a lot of him again, too. So, uh, yeah, I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I'm so excited. The travel blogs, vlogs will begin coming up next. So, in next week's episode, where will they be? What do I usually say to end videos? Oh my gosh, I haven't made a video for nine days. Um, oh yeah, lots of fun coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sending you so much love. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.